in all the games I've seen, the worst, most horrible, most awful beyond comparison opponents ever seen were often weaker than the characters who fought them. They were simply well-armed and intelligent beings who were played by the DM to be utterly ruthless and clever. Tucker's Kerbals were like that. Tucker ran an incredibly dangerous dungeon in the days I was stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. This dungeon had corridors that changed all of your donkeys into huge flame demons or dropped the whole party into acid baths, but the demons were weenies compared to the kobolds on level one. These kobolds were just regular kobolds, one to four HP and all that, but they were mean. When I say they were mean, I mean they were bad, Jim. They graduated magna cum laude from the Sauron Institute of the Criminally Vicious. <laughs> When I joined the gaming group, some of the PCs had already met Tucker's Kobolds, and they were not eager to repeat the experience. The party leader went over the pencil map of the dungeon and tried to find ways to avoid the loot critters, but it was not possible. The group resigned itself to making a run for it through level 1 to get to the elevators, where we could go down to level 10 and fight okay monsters like huge flaming demons. It didn't work. The Kobolds caught us about 60 feet into the dungeon and locked the door behind us and barred it. Then they set the corridor on fire while we were still in there. No! Screamed the party leader. It's them! <laughs> Thus encouraged, our party scrambled down a side passage, only to be ambushed by more kobolds, firing with light crossbows through murder holes in the walls and ceilings. Kobolds with metal armor and shields flung Molotov cocktails at us from the other sides of huge, flaming piles of debris, which other kobolds pushed ahead of their formation using long metal poles like broomsticks. There was no mistake about it. These kobolds were bad. We turned to our group leader for advice. Ah! He cried. <laughs> he cried, hands clasped over his face to shut out the tactical situation. We abandoned most of our carried items and donkeys to speed our flight towards the elevators, but we were cut off by kobold snipers who could split move and fire, ducking back behind stones and corners after launching steel tip bolts and arrows, javelins, hand axes, and more flaming oil bottles. We ran into unexplored sections of level one, taking damage all the time. It was then we discovered that these kobolds had honeycombed the first floor with small tunnels to speed their movements. Kobold commandos were everywhere. All of our highlands died. Most of our, most of our henchmen followed. We were next. I recall we had a 12th level magic user with us, and we asked him to throw a spell or something. Blast him, we yelled as we ran. Fireball! Get those little f***s! What, in these narrow corridors? He yelled back. You want I should burn us all up instead of them? Our panic flight suddenly took us to a dead-end corridor, where a giant air shaft dropped straight down into unspeakable darkness, far past level 10. Here we hastily pounded spikes into floors and walls, flung ropes up to the edge and climbed straight down into that unspeakable darkness because anything we met down there was sure to be better than these kobolds. We escaped, met some huge flaming demons in level 10, and even managed to kill one after about an hour of combat and the lives of half the group. We felt pretty good, but the group leader could not be cheered up. We, uh, we still have to go up the way we came in he said, as he gloomily prepared to divide up the treasure. Tucker's kobolds were about the worst thing we could imagine. They ate all our donkeys and took all our treasure and did everything they could to make us miserable, but they had style and brains and tenacity and courage. We respected them and loved them, sort of, because they were never boring. Kobolds could do this to a group of PCs from 6th to 12th level. Picture what a few orcs and some lower level NPCs could do to a 12th to 16th level group, or a gang of mid-level NPCs and monsters to groups of up to level 20. Then give it a try. Sometimes it's the little things. Use well that count. <laughs>